We had some storms this morning, Bill, and then of course we had the sunshine. I got some text messages, some people saying, but wait, it's really nice out. It's mostly sunny. That actually wasn't a great thing. When you have sunshine, it increases the instability. It adds fuel to the fire, and that's what we're seeing now across the area. I want to start off a couple of uh, cameras. First of all, Bethlehem right now, up to the current time, cloudy skies and some showers in the area. We're going to be watching areas across not just Pennsylvania, but the Jersey Shore and over toward Delaware. There's Bethlehem. Let's talk about uh, Italian market right now. That's going to to be in South Philly. Let's talk about where we have mostly sunny skies, people walking around. It looks good right now. And as Bill just showed you on the radar, now is the time pre to prepare. The sky conditions, the conditions across Philadelphia are fine. It's actually a very, just by looking outside, being outside, a pleasant late afternoon, early evening. But obviously, that's going to change very rapidly here within the next hour to hour and a half. There is a damaging wind threat that includes the Philadelphia area. So even as this line comes in, and it doesn't produce a tornado. Let's say you're in Philadelphia. Let's say you're anywhere here, especially across the red area. This is not just going to be a tornado threat for this afternoon and evening and tonight, but this is also going to be a damaging wind threat where we could see straight line winds with this storm line anywhere between 50, 60, even up to 70 miles per hour. So that's another thing we're going to be watching for tonight. As far as the tornado risk goes, we are in the larger area here. Now it says 5%. You may say, well, that's not that bad. But when we start really breaking down these thunderstorms, we start breaking down the severe uh, warnings that we have for this part of the country, that is actually pretty significant. So what we're going to see here is not a widespread outbreak of tornadoes, but we are already seeing some tornado warnings, as Bill showed you, just south of our viewing area in Delaware, and most likely within the next hour to two to three hours, we're going to start to see those spread across our area as well. So everybody needs to stay weather aware. And in this case, well, we have to show this because we may have a tornado warning. Like I like to say a lot of times, we don't want to scare you. We want Want to prepare you. So, if a tornado warning is issued for your area, for your county, the first thing to do is go to the basement or an interior room. If you don't have a basement, go to an interior closet or preferably a bathroom that doesn't have any windows on it. And you want to go to the most interior part of your house and lowest part of your house if you can. It's so important once you get down there to protect your head. Crouch down, make sure that you are not having your head exposed to any debris that could fly in. That brings me to the next point. You want to avoid windows, open areas. You can have debris flying in and out, things like that. Uh, some people actually have bicycle helmets that they put on if they're going to be in an interior section of their home. Not a bad idea. Caution, after the tornado has passed, because tornadoes don't last very long in most cases, you don't want to go outside, you don't want to touch any down power lines, be near trees, sharp debris, because that could end up being even more dangerous uh, for the most part after the tornado has passed. Now, we are going to be looking at a busy next couple of hours through 8 o'clock temperatures, by the way, over 70 degrees for many of you this afternoon, back into the 50s and then 40s by Sunday morning. The good news is that while it will be chilly Sunday morning, we're actually going to be looking at all of this out of the way with sunshine returning. So by 8 o'clock, we're going to be looking at the Jersey Shore for the main areas of concern as that line moves across not just Philadelphia, but the Jersey uh, Central Southern Jersey and the Jersey Shore. And then once we get to about 9, 10 o'clock, we should breathe a sigh of relief. We're going to keep our eye on things, but the bigger story after that, especially as we head into the overnight, is going to be the fierce wind coming down. And believe it or not, as crazy as this sounds, we may even track a couple of snow. No flurries and snowflakes for the Poconos in the highest elevations as that cold air filters in. So again, we are watching that tornado. Watch now until 10 p.m. for the entire region. We're going to continue to keep our eye on it. Bill, I have a feeling things are going to start getting busier here within the next 45 minutes to an hour. We may have some wall-to-wall, -wall, literally, coverage here. Yeah.